what's up you guys marty schwartz here with marty music thanks for uh, clicking on the video we're gonna do smashing pumpkins mayonnaise uh and it's brought to you thank you to the great support of my patrons on patreon so uh you know i do a, a poll for my patrons and uh, they choose out of the uh, songs which one to do. So thank you so much for that extra support. You can check out my Patreon page in the link below. And uh, thanks for supporting Marty Music. Let's break this down. All right, so we got a weird tuning and it's gonna be E flat, B flat, another B flat, G flat, B flat, and D. Now on a, like for instance, a snark tuner, it would say D, A sharp, F sharp, A sharp, A sharp, D sharp, same thing. Uh, all right, so now we're gonna go, I'll just call them the same, you know, A string, D string, etc. just for ease of explanation. Uh, we're gonna start with the open A, O, seven, six, back to seven. You're holding that shape, seven and six right there. So after you go A, D, G, D, you go over to the high E, E, B, G, just down the, the row of strings. all the way down to the D string. So E, B, G, D. Starts over. Now for some of you, it's gonna be easier to switch your fingering to your middle and ring finger, but it's the same shape. Second fret and first fret. I'm gonna keep the same shape for all of them and just, I'm gonna have to stretch my pinky out to the Third fret high E, that's why some of you are gonna wanna go that way. So now I'm here and I start the picking on the D string. D, G, B, G. Then the third fret high E to the G. So, then the open to the B. So, all together, that looks like this. From the top. Same shape again, that's why I'm liking it for all of them, because you have to do it this way for the, the last one. Because you gotta reach over to that third fret on the high E. So we're, the final shape, we're at the uh, fifth fret D, fourth fret G. You hit the D and the G. And then the high E B. Then index down on the third, B to the B, high E to B, and then back off high E to B. So all together. Next. So you think of it as like what you would normally think of as an E major chord, but because of the this alternate tuning, we're just getting chords that have like extra moody colors added to them. So think of it as E, but it's, it's not really. And actually don't hit the open E, so it's like a B sus kind of thing. Something. I don't I'm not even worried about what it is. Because this is all 
tinkered with. So we're just going for shapes right now. Just shapes today, folks. That, and then slide it up to where your middle finger would be on the fifth fret. So. Repeat. The solos playing those like, ding, ding. you know, those little pinch harmonics, which for me, that has to be sta standard tuning the solo part. But anyway, you know, more than one guitar. And then up to here, it repeats. Now we're gonna get even more moody with this really pretty chord. This really pretty chord. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we did that, and then the it's like really kind of funky little thing here. It's just like that E shape, but you just move those up. So you've got seventh fret on the E and A, but then uh, sixth fret on the G, and then that goes down to the fourth fret, and then this thing that looks like E with the open E, which has been tuned down. We're just calling it the open E. So the open five, five, four with the open strings, the whole, all six strings. And then on the G string, we're going eight, nine, 11, that chord. And you can get the, the open strings with it. And that is the clean intro. Now we've entered the distortion part of the lesson. So, if you don't mind, put on a nice big raunchy fuzz pedal of some sorts. I'm using the big moth. So we're gonna use the uh, seven, seven on the E and A, and then we're just muting the D, but honestly the A and D are, mute, are tuned the exact same note. So you don't even need one or the other. So we're gonna go seven, seven, and then six on that G string. Then down to that fourth fret. And then this one, you know, it's just like before, but with the fuzz. So that third chord is on the A, D, and G. So you got. So there's those cool licks, which is four, five, four on the A string, but there's octaves. It's a big part of this whole album and era of, of Smashing Pumpkins. The big muff pedal, those octaves. And when you do, in this tuning, you'd have to do the octave on the four of the A and four of the B. And then it moves up to the, between the nine and the 10. In some ways, it's cleaner to do the single note. Okay, the next section is the what looks like an E major chord, but you don't play the open E. It's all, you know, shapes we've used already, but. Then up to the fifth fret, but on the E and A, that can stay on the G. That rolls over. So it's like power chord, you know. But you've got those G string extensions. So 
now, power chord on the second fret E and A. Up to the fourth. And then that classic. And then the second time. It's not the open E, but covering the five on the E and the A, once again with that G string. So from the top of the distorted part, fourth fret, song progresses um, it's still doing the same main chord but then it just doesn't do the it's just holding on that before the guitar solo one, two, it does an extra where it's holding on that chord one two three two, do, 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 do. and then it's that Seventh fret power chord with that. Do this main one again. And back to the seventh fret. You know, just like that. And then the end of the solo is a little tag, and the chords would be. <laughs> Which one do you like more? All right, so it does that little five, four, two. Then it goes clean again. That's the bulk of the song. Clean chords. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again for the great support. Really appreciate it. Uh, also, once again, shout out to my uh, patrons on Patreon. You can check that link below. If you haven't yet, I appreciate you uh, liking this video and subscribing, clicking the bell notification, and any and all links below. So thank you again, guys, and I hope to see you real soon. Take care.